Uh, this is our special uh, edition of our Valentine's podcast. I'm going to be making a share your love recipe. It's called My Fruity Nutty Chocolate Valentine. It's extremely simple. All you're going to use is two bars of our organic dark chocolate 365 brand. And you can either use our fruit and nut trail mix, the whole bag, or you can make your own trail mix. Did you know that we have a trail mix bar here in Whole Foods Market in, in Franklin, Tennessee? You can actually scoop out your own, pick out what you like, and make your own trail mix. It's awesome. You can even add it to the salad bar um, if you'd like, just to put some on top of your salad because it's conveniently located over here next to our hot bar and salad bar. So for this recipe, um, you're going to use the chocolate. You're going to uh, just chop it up really easy. And you're going to melt the chocolate over medium high heat or medium low heat. And what I'm going to do is actually use a, a, a double boiler method. And um, because it's really easy to scorch chocolate and it melts pretty quickly. So I chopped it up, just going to be a little bit easier for it to start melting that way. And um, it will start uh, to heat here in just a minute, you'll see. And then I'll just stir it up and, um, and then we'll go from there. Um, so speaking of Valentine's, we have a double dozen roses on sale right now. That's two dozen roses for $19.99. It's uh, Ball Supplies Last um, or through Valentine's is that special. And we actually have wrapping stations as soon as you walk into the floral department in the store where um, for no extra charge you can have your roses wrapped in tissue paper or you can even um, have us make a fancy bouquet uh, with some baby's breath and some greens just for $4.99. So, and we of course have tons of other beautiful arrangements, tulips, you name it. We have the most gorgeous flowers. And we also have our organic French chocolate truffles on sale. Those are delicious. A lot of you might remember them from Christmas and they are on sale, the organic French chocolate truffles. Make sure you pick up some of those snack on. And then also for Valentine's Day at our wine bar, we are um, going to have a special. If you buy a bottle of wine, you receive a plate, a free plate of chocolate and cheese. So that's a good deal. And that's from 4 to 8 p.m. So maybe you just want to keep it low key, come in for a little wine, chocolate and cheese, and then go home and have dinner. Or maybe you have a later din dinner reservation. So stop by here first, have some wine, some chocolate, some cheese and then, you know, do whatever else you're gonna do after that. So you, as you see, the chocolate is starting to melt. It doesn't take long. It's getting there. Oh, it's gonna be so good. My chocolate valentine. Sweet, fruity, nutty chocolate valentine. You make me smile when I eat you. <laughs> so I like to sing when I cook. And as you see, this is pretty much all melted. Oh, it looks so good. I really like this method um, because, it, like I said, it's easy to scorch chocolate. Um, so it, if you look here, I've got the water underneath um, that's boiling. And so that's where you get double boiler. And um, so that way you don't scorch your chocolate. And of course you, you should stir it consistently, constantly, frequently. Just don't stop stirring it. Stir it up, little chocolate, stir it up. So it's pretty much done. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is add pretty much all of the uh, fruit and nut trail mix except for a quarter cup that I have set aside and I did get a little extra in here because it's good to have a snack later. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna mix it all up like this. I'm gonna turn that heat off. No reason to heat, keep heating it. It's heated as much as we need it to be. You see that just gets on to the fruit and nuts pretty easily there. Just stir it up. Next, 
you're just gonna put it onto your lined parchment paper baking sheet. And this is um this recipe. This is a single recipe. Of course, you can double it up, but a little goes a long way. And then you're just gonna spread it. you're finished, you're going to take that quarter cup of that fruit and nut trail mix and you're going to sprinkle it on top. Let's give it some pretty color there. Maybe a little more. Some good pumpkin seeds. So you can see this is a, a nice healthy Valentine's sweet treat. You've got your nuts, fruit, and of course your chocolate. Next thing you're going to do after this is you're just going to put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, let it chill, and then take it out uh, of the refrigerator, um, let it chill to room temperature, maybe about 45 minutes total in length and then you're gonna chop it up and serve it. It's ready after that. No baking required. And, magic of television, this is what you get afterwards. So this is a different batch I made. Of course, every batch is unique. You can choose what kind of fruit and nuts that you like. And um, we've been eating on this a little bit, so this is all that we have left. But it's super delicious. I think I'm gonna take a bite right now. Enjoy, happy Valentine's.